Hi, welcome to episode 13 of the HTML and CSS course. In this episode, we will be teaching you how to insert an image into your website and the content type of the image. My name is Samuel and I'm one of the instructor of this course. My name is Ronald and I'm another instructor for this course. And we're part of the ECD Foundation, which is stands for Every Child Deserves Education. We produce high quality and educational video. So make sure to check it out and subscribe to our channel. To insert an image into your website, we normally use a tag called the IMG tag, which stands for the image tag. We, we uh, to add images inside the website. Inside the IMG tag, there should always be an SRC attribute. The SRC attribute is like the href attribute used inside the tag. It can include both external and internal links. For an external link, um, you can go to any website and then search for um, image. So you can uh, search for Google and then images. Actually, I can search for any image I want. I can also search for basketball. And then after you get an image, go to image and then, uh, and then you can choose whatever you want and then copy the link of that image. Yeah, so you can see when you um, right click and then you can copy image address. And then after you copy that, you can just pay, um, paste it into the source. And then, yeah, that's all for the external link. And for internal link, you save the image you want inside the same folder of your website. So here, uh, I mean the folder, um, the same folder, and inside this folder, I save a picture that is um, a picture of Google. So after I save the image I want, I can also use the same thing. I can also use image tag. Um, but this time, uh, I use, uh, I direct to the file of the image. It, it's pretty similar to, um, normal link so if you haven't watched episode uh 10 11 and 12 which we cover uh, everything you need to know for link uh, i strongly encourage you to watch it right now so you can get a better understanding of how this works yeah so if we look at the code uh, the first image we use a h1 tag to surround the basketball image words and then below that, we have an external link for our basketball image. And then for the second image, we also put a H1 tag to put a name for the Google image. Below that, we have an internal link image, which is from the folder. Then now we can use Live Server. Yeah, so after we run into a live server, uh, this is what it shows up. As you can see, there's a basketball image, the name, and the image below that, and then a Google image name, and then there's an image below that. After knowing how to insert an image, let's talk about the contents type of image. The content type of the image is inline level. In other words, it doesn't take up the whole row of the website and will directly follow the previous row. And here, uh, let's look at the code. So we have a span tag, which is the inline element. And it has the content of image is an inline level content inside. And then after the span tag, we have an image tag with a source that is directed to 
our Google image in the same folder. And let's take a look on what it will look like in um, Live Server. So inside our website, we have images and inline level content, which is the span tag we use. And then um, following by the span tag, we, we have an image of Google. Uh, so you can see right here, the Google doesn't actually move to the next line below the, uh, the span right here. It's actually on the side of the span tag, it's on the same line. And so it's proof that image is an inline level content. Yeah, so here's a question for episode 13. Yeah, so this is a true or false question. Number one, every IMG tag is required to have a SRC attribute. So is this true or false? Feel free to leave it in the comment section. Yeah, so the answer is true for this. And the second question is, if each tag is a block level element, is it true or false? And so it's false because image tag is an inline element. And number three, uh, the source attribute can only be internal link. Is it true or false? Uh, the answer for this one is false because the source attribute can be both um, internal or external link. And that's all for today's, uh, for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.